what's up? All right, so I was just recently at the island and I was taking a look at the design we did for the bar. Lon and I kind of put together a look for the bar. We got these planks from the floor of an 18-wheeler bib and used them kind of as some reclaimed looking wood on the face of the bar. So we've got the bar here and behind it, we put some nice pretty walnut. So inside the island, we found some really nice old walnut flooring. I figured that might look real nice behind the bar. And it's almost too slick. I, I kind of wanted to rustic that up. And uh, I thought a big, nice piece of driftwood might be real nice there. And I remembered that there had been this really cool piece of driftwood I've seen for the past several years down on this piece of property I've got. So I went on a little adventure this weekend and reclaimed a massive piece of driftwood. And so I want to show you that. I shot it all on the iPhone because last time I went down there, I had my $6,000 worth of camera, and this happened. Crazy mother. My G Master Sony lens and A7S Mark II took a nice dip in the water. I put the camera body in a bag of rice for about a week under a heat lamp and that dried out and it worked fine, but the lens I actually had to send back to Sony or somewhere in New York, wherever they fix their lenses. Uh, and that cost about $1,000. I got off pretty cheap, I guess, but I try not to take that big old camera with me when I'm doing this kind of uh, adventure. All right, so here's how I got the driftwood. I got my p and my chainsaw. I'm going to go head down into the woods and look for uh, this piece of driftwood that I've been seeing for a couple of years now. Down in the, down in the bottom of this beaver pond. Alright, so, just a, oh I need my machete in case I come across some uh, Mr. No Shoulders, also known as snakes. Very important when you're going play in the woods, you need a machete. I'll just tell you briefly about the, the TV show, uh, Louisiana River Builds. We had a great time doing it, and uh, I think I think it really is turning out great. I think uh, it's easily as good or better than the first episode, and, and we were real pleased at how the place turned out. So uh, that should be coming out sometime in July, I believe. If any of you guys watch Watch the Louisiana Wetlands channel. This is where I do a lot of that uh, duck hunting. Ended up having to cross this creek quite a bit. Buried My body's built much braver because I want to be friend. And the rivets in my past continue moving. The bellows in big pipes still going mellow. This is some property I bought about uh, three or four years ago. 80 acres. There's a cool little beaver pond on it. And uh, you can see a lot of wood ducks and a lot of pretty nature. No snakes so far. So there are some wood ducks right there. There's quite a few still that hang out uh, all year round around here. So that's the piece that I've been eyeing. It's kind of now in a precarious situation. It's a lot bigger than I remembered. And it was on dry land over there. But the, I guess there's a lot of flooding and it kind of picked up and moved. So let's see what I can get done. So this thing is beautiful and it's huge. And you can kind of see some holes through it, which I wanted because I was gonna have some LEDs maybe behind it to kind of light up the back and you'll be able to see that pretty walnut between it but it's way too big for the bar and it's way too big to lug out here with one man. So I gotta see what piece I wanna cut. It's 
now we got this thing flipped over and cut in half long ways. I'm gonna cut this about right there and see which piece I wanna use. So we've got this piece of driftwood, pretty big. It's plenty big actually. It's a little thin on this side, but it's got a lot of character. And we just gotta get the mold off of it. Get all that grass and mold away from it. Let it bleach out in the sun a little bit, and we'll be good to go. Only a quarter of a mile to go. How cute. I think it's a baby wood duck. It can't it can't swim yet. I mean it can't fly, it barely fly. Uh, I think that's a merganser. The real deal driftwood when you don't buy it from a store gets a little labor intensive as you as you can tell. My hands are shaking. It's a lot of work. But you end up with a pretty pretty neat piece of driftwood. Uh, and I needed a big nice big Driftwood for the island, and now we got it. If that doesn't work, there's still a few more pieces back there that may just work for us. 